What is good everybody? Welcome back to the channel and actually welcome back to the Philippines. I'm doing things a little bit out of order because Fear of God just announced that they're going to be doing the Fall Winter 23 release very shortly. And so for the purposes of today's upload, I did think it'd be helpful to go ahead and talk about sizing, pricing, as well as my opinions regarding the good and the bad about every piece to help you decide whether or not uh, that respective piece is for you. So with that, let's go ahead and begin with the brand new t-shirt. These do feature a new minimalist design that have the text a little bit smaller and now is centered. As we've seen in the past, the t-shirts do have a very relaxed silhouette and fit very, very oversized. What that means, you're gonna have a drop shoulder, wider body, and an overall longer t-shirt altogether, which leads me to this first point. To some, that is very, very desirable to have more relaxed fitting t-shirts. To others like myself, that's gonna be a little less than ideal, and you might wanna consider going one size down. With that being said, I do love the fact that the mock neck on the t-shirt is less mock neck, if that makes sense. Um, it's just not as dramatic. It doesn't look like it's constricting, as well as it's a little bit uh, lower in terms of the finish of the ribbing. So that is a very, very welcome addition. All of that working in tandem with the fact that you're getting the same great quality t-shirts that come from Fear of God that last a very long time. This shirt is an easy purchase for me. Next up, we have the Fall 23 hoodies, which are priced at $100, comprised of a nice brushed fleece. This piece does fit very oversized through and through again similarly to the t-shirts for intended fit go ahead and take your true to size size which will produce a vastly baggier oversized fit there really isn't anything negative i can say about these hoodies apart from the fact that community is divided around the scuba style neck collar but with that i do believe this adds a new dimension to these hoodies just kind of breaking away from like the standard hoodie like this one here so to me i remain a little indifferent with regard to that i do find the hoodies overall to be probably of the best value pieces from Fear God Essentials. They do a very good job. These hoodies are built to last, they're very comfortable. If you're looking to purchase a hoodie, go ahead and pick one of these up. Now, moving on to the newly updated Essentials Knit Polos. These ones here are very intriguing to me. I've had previous knits and they were really nice in terms of fabric quality. They just had a great hand feel to them, but I wasn't crazy about how they fit. These do feature a brand new silhouette that looks to be pretty boxy and relaxed all the way throughout. Go ahead and check the dimensions here on the screen now. You'll quickly realize that it's very boxy. I'm gonna pick up a size extra small for myself personally, which does measure 25 by 25. With that being said, this is a piece that has a ton of promise, but I would suggest overall, go ahead and maybe skip on it because pieces like this generally do go on sale within three months time for up to 60% off on both Essence and Mr. Porter. All right, now onto the next piece. If there's any garment in this entire collection, I think you should give a strong, strong look at, potentially highly recommend that you purchase, it would be these new sweatpants. All of the colorways to me look extremely wearable and this new updated fit that we saw from Black Collection looks like it did transition to this new collection and I'm absolutely here for it. As we've seen time and time again, Jerry just seems to produce the best sweatpants each and every release fine-tuning them to a small degree but making them better every single time. It's no wonder why Jerry himself does wear these sweatpants seemingly every single day. So needless to say, it is a product that Jerry stands by himself. Now with regard to sizing, you have a couple options here. It does feature an elastic waistband so for that reason, you can go ahead and get a size down if you choose a fit that will produce a pretty relaxed fit through the thigh, but slightly taper and not be so baggy to the finish. Conversely, you can go true to size and have a very relaxed baggy fit through to the ankle. Both do feature an elastic cuff at the bottom where the ankle is, but due to the nature of the fabric, it's gonna fold over regardless. Not much more to say, get the sizing right. If you need sweatpants, pick these up. And now let's keep it on the topic of bottoms. Look at these new running shorts. From a proportionality standpoint, these look exquisite. That in tandem with the fact that those drawstrings are that nice new color that we just saw on the sweatpants. I don't know. I think it's just the small details for me that really make this collection stand out. Now, when it comes to the bad, I did want to let you know that I do have not the best experiences 
when it comes to the nylon shorts. They just tend to rip. But something worth mentioning is that these shorts are comprised of Taslin nylon. And so my anticipation is that these shorts will hold up much better than previously. But apart from that, the shorts look very, very good. Minimalist in branding. And when it comes to sizing, just go ahead and take your true to size size. You will be good to go. They do finish right above the knee. In the event that you do prefer them to fit at the knee, I still recommend going true to size because they do feature a longer rise out front. You can wear them just a little bit lower on the hip and you should be all set. Another piece that I do suggest picking up so long as you're okay with purchasing shorts uh, during these cooler months. Next we have the denim set which isn't bad per se but due to the fact that this is a sector of clothing that is heavily heavily saturated with many options out there at this price point, I do suggest just skipping over it altogether, or at the very least, go ahead and skip on it for now until it eventually goes on sale. Next, we have the Cable Knits, a product that has been introduced a couple other times in the past and was received fairly poorly due to the fact that they didn't fit complimentary whatsoever. This time around, there is a brand new updated fit, which looks to be pretty promising. But if cable knits is something down your alley, go ahead and check it out. At $160, it isn't terrible for this piece if it's what you're into, but for me, it's a pass. All right, so it doesn't happen often, but we are now being offered an essentials beanie. Very simple, very subtle, minimalist branding, and easy to wear with any style of outfit. At 30 bucks, it's not a bad price, so go ahead and pick it up. That is, if you can, because they do sell out very quickly. Next, we have the button-down shirt. This piece, to me, is kind of reminiscent of Fear of God of yesteryear, where they produced those flannels that were very, very elongated. But to keep it a buck with you, this piece doesn't do much for me personally. And at this price point, the piece is an easy skip and is primed to go ahead and go on clearance down the line. Next, we have the Relax Sweat Shorts, an old reliable for Fear of God Essentials. We've got that same great silhouette that we saw from Black Collect a slightly more extended drop crotch very very comfortable and they do tend to finish slightly below the knee which is definitely on trend right now you've got the new text logo looking very minimalist just an easy pair of shorts to wear coming in these brand new five colorways can't really go wrong in terms of sizing go ahead and take your true to size size next we have the essentials crew neck that does share similar DNA to that of the t-shirt as well as the hoodie that being features featuring uh, the smaller front up front. It is tonal in nature and minimalist in design, comprised of a comfortable brush fleece, very, very soft and does fit relaxed all the way through. This specific rendition of the crew neck does feature a collar that is a little bit more subdued. Another piece if you're looking for sweaters to go ahead and pick up for sure. All right, you guys, so I intentionally saved the best for last. This is the piece that I personally love the most in this entire collection. These are the relaxed trousers. I saw something similar in black collection, that of which I loved a lot. This pair is going to be very, very baggy. Borderline rave pants, but man, oh man, are they so, so good. For this piece, you might want to consider going a size down like I did. There really isn't anything negative I can say about the relaxed trousers. I really, really like them a lot. Apart from the fact that if you're not on the baggy wave, just yet you might really really dislike them but for me i'm all aboard i think they look awesome all right so that is going to do it for my thoughts on this entire collection and a little bit of advice with regards to sizing and if these pieces are for you again i am in the philippines so i'm going to do my best to get my hands on this stuff to do a full review for you guys but at the very least i thought we'd just kind of talk about this latest drop. Always guys, I thank you so much for the continued support. It really is a privilege of mine to get to serve you through making content. Always, I'll catch you in the next upload. Peace and be blessed.